Hello everyone and welcome to Bravery Rise of the Last Hero. A game that's built on sort of good old fashioned dungeon runner ideals. But unfortunately it does fall a little bit short. By a little I mean a lot. The combat mechanism isn't very good as you can see here. You die over and over again. Literally you get swarmed by these bugs or wolves or bears and things like that and you will spawn and then you get re-killed or you'll get killed and you spawn miles and miles and miles away and you have to do it all over again so far all I've done is a single quest and that was to kill four wolves uh, even though there was five kind of bizarre I don't know if that's a mistake but yeah, um, there is a level up system which is always quite good. I, I always do like sort of like a goal driven game where you know you gain experience, you level up, you improve your character, which is always a nice sort of thing to see inside of a game. But it, there's nothing really behind it. There's not any kind of tutorial or anything like that to teach you how to equip things or anything. I was sat there for about two minutes just getting to grips with the controls basically because you can't actually use the standard normal controls WSD you have to use your mouse right click is to move left click is to attack and then also left click is to pick things up and A is as well so if you don't really want to hit A you're sitting there trying to pick it up and you're attacking things the enemies aren't overly good they will just appear out of nowhere swarm you also there's a lot of sort of little mini bugs as you can see here I'm literally just I'm getting stuck on that rock as well also the enemies do to a point they can't attack me because this little dude just stands there and you can find more as well which sometimes is an advantage like here there's loads of enemies you walk back a bit and they can't attack you they just get stuck on the rocks there's loads of different like in invisible walls uh, also when you're outside you like click on part of the map which it, it, that, it's quite a nice feature because it will walk quite a distance if you click on the map but the pathfinding technology isn't that good to a point that you will walk into a fence and you will just continue walking it won't try find another way around it, it, it's got no no way around it. You literally walk in. F you walk into a fence all day if you don't pay attention. Also, th this kind of game, you expect, you know, the entrances to the dungeons are really sort of like nice, really obvious as well. Because I didn't particularly want to go into a dungeon right now. Uh, or a cave, more should I say, because I was level 1 or level 2. So couldn't really kill much, as you saw right at the entrance, I died about seven times killing basic bugs. But you walk around for a while, You, I walked through an, a haunted forest. Found a, sort of like a witch's house or a house or something like that. I went through it, there's a person there, you slightly walk forward to go and speak to said person. And magically you wake up here. There's no real way out that I can find so far. Uh, I have played this game for about 20 minutes and I literally it's it seems never ending because I found a boss in this or what I believe to be a boss because it was quite a big ass spider killed that. There's a random like treasure chest that you cannot open. There's loads of gold there. It's like I want to pick up the gold. I want to be rich come on let me pick it up but no you can't pick it up for whatever reason so you go a different location you go a different way I went back on myself and went a different way loads of enemies suddenly spawned around me out of nowhere but I was able lucky enough to kill them found a treasure chest oh, here's the uh, big spider actually tried to open it it did open then it killed me it came to life it took like three times to kill it three times this is the chest. Literally, all that gold. I could be set for life. Let me pick it up. No, the devil of it. But, I digress. This game could be quite a good game if it's improved on because it's got the sort of like. the support for it. 
because it's a dungeon runner and quite a few people do love good old fashioned dun dungeon runners I was pretty much not brought up on this stuff but it was what was popular around when I was a kid so a lot of people will want to play this game if it's improved to a point that this game has sort of like you can talk but there's no choice of what you say you, you can't choose anything also there's no voice acting which in a sense you can understand from a £3.50 game but also it's disappointing because it's modern times you kind of expect it in a horrible way but um, I digress final sort of way or thought about this game is it hopefully as long as the developer works on it it will become a, a good game something that I could actually play but right now I'm literally not going to touch it for a good couple of months. I was tempted to refund it, um, but it's it's a couple of quid. I don't. I'm not going to miss it. But thank you very much for watching, and I shall see you again later.